Excuse me. Excuse me, sir, you need help? Mister, you alive? Fuck, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? Head for Armadillo, friend. What is your name, friend? John Morrison. Oh, good God! Out of the frying pan into the fire! Excuse me! How many outlaws can a man encounter in one day? You must have me mistaken with somebody else, friend. The Fowler Twins! Walton's gang! I know who you are! Word sure travels fast around here. Good Lord! It's no scoundrel once again! Shooting at nothing! Excellent work, sir! Push on to Armadillo! What the hell happened to you? Bandits! Hoodlums! The scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die! I can see that! Once again, I'm the victim of my own success! They seem a man in a well cut suit and this happened! Do you know who they were? No idea! I'm not the kind of man who has enemies! You do now! I give so much and still they take! We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend! Our maker is a funny sense of humor sometimes! Well, at least I met you! I don't believe it! More of the gutter snipes! You're killing me! I would save some of those bullets for the men trying to kill us! There's him a go! Master John! Master! Not too fast, sir! I beg you! I'm not sure I'll make it! If we don't get you to a doctor soon, you definitely won't make it. I embrace you. For Christ's sakes, man, you're gonna be fine. Take We're nearly me there. Into your arms. This is it. You're gonna make it. Oh, where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. <sighs> I owe you, sir. <clears throat> and I always pay my debts. <sighs> uh, Jesus! But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Mister, she's gone. Who is? My wife, she's gone. She went out picking mushrooms in the hills. They're hanging rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? Oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Come on. here you want map I retire here take map you earn it thanks mister I could use a little luck what can I say partner let's 
Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns a place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper top. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water Build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs>
Been a terrible gang tearing up Armadillo. Lawman trying to take him down for years. Now, here tell Marshal Johnson had a fellow with him that was an uncanny marksman. Fantastic! They took down the Walton's gang, and they hit him with several shots, and it didn't even face him. I'm not understanding English, well. All I know is I don't want to cross that fella, or ever come across. Unglaubly! Never That's can't quite tell a tale. real or imaginary out here. What the hell do you want? Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Okay. I'll take it. Here you go, then, partner. Good luck out here. Got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Ah, you're about in Solomon. All right. Good of you to put your own money up for the deed. There you go. There's a little something extra in there for you. Always best when these transactions go smoothly. 
particularly when you can make more money out of it. Hmm. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Oh, yeah. How are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Hop on up, Mr. Marston. Is there a problem, Mr. Marston? Can we get going? You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women. And neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snake. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. 
first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Armadillo get by with that. Hey, partner. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. Thanks a lot. Stay away from the salt pork and tobacco. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. I wonder how great it must have been out here before the rail ruined it all. Surely won't regret a purchase. Nice doing business. There's more trains coming through. A fine transaction. Thanks. That's good. Remember to return. Get what you did here. Glad to be a service to the oldest profession. 